It's fan mail time. I've got the old random package here from a viewer. It says right here on the bottom, for Jason, not a job. That sounds like my kind of mail, although I do kind of like to get jobs in the mail sometimes. So let's have a look inside this thing and see what was sent. All I've done is ripped the name off of it. I have no idea what's in this box. Now, just in case this thing is loaded with a giant turd, I wanna go ahead and say thank you to whoever it is that sent it here. That way, uh, if I'm too grossed out to say that afterwards, um, I don't have to worry about that. So here we go, drum roll please. Okay, so far it doesn't smell, so I'm reasonably confident I'm not dealing with a big old stinky turd. What in the world? Oh, cool. Ooh, those are heavy duty. Broken, but heavy duty. What am I looking at here? What's this brand name? SPC Ram, made in Italy. This isn't like... Uh, AliExpress stuff. Ooh, is that a surgical blade? Yes. That's a surgical blade. Now this pair of tweezers here, this is a little bit, uh, that pair of tweezers there, that's significantly nicer. I'll actually probably wind up using those. It says, oh, something BIS Switzerland. That's actually a pretty stinking nice pair of tweezers. Got some more tweezers. Oh, yeah, and just in case I cut myself wide open, opening this package. Oh, no, 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 it's actual extra blades. Okay, I was going to say, this guy actually sent me a bunch of band-aids in case I sliced myself up. Oh, heck yeah, dude. He sent me what looks to be like uh, surgical blades that are made to slide. I'm betting they slip into this handle. That handle is for these blades, and he might very well have me hooked like literally get it hooked on something other than using exacto blades what do we got here Num number 11 stainless steel blade all right cool Ooh, and then one more of these made in switzerland tweezers um, they sort of look like they're throwing out gang signs but i can straighten up and fix those under the microscope that's way cool okay so the last thing in this box what is this Okay, somebody out there already knows what this is. I don't know what this is. What is this? <gasps> Whoa! Oh, this is some, like, really old, like, really, really old integrated circuit. What's it say on the front of that again? Collins 774-336-2001. I don't have a clue what this is. I'm going to put that under the microscope and have a look at it under the microscope. On the back, it has something written on it. It says 4-bit. Um, those of you watching this video, if you know what this is, please let me know in the comments below. I can see what looks like some wires and things jumpered onto here. Let's have a look. This is exciting. Yeah, look at this thing. Here's a pair of the tweezers that were sent. So you can see we've got jumper leads that go here from the you know the breakout out here to these larger pins we have jumpers a larger jumper here that goes into the trace on the board and if you follow that trace on the board it goes over to these tiny tiny and i mean tiny little micro jumpers that are like tack soldered to these ic's and it has how many of them on here four eight it's got ten smaller ICs on it. This must be a computer, right? Is this a processor? That is cool. Thank you. This, the nostalgia behind this is gonna have me stashing this for years. This is gonna get put up and protected and um, I will keep this as a souvenir, sort of a rare treat. Uh, to the person that sent this here, Thank you, this is freaking cool, I really love it. As far as the tweezers and the blades, I think this is stuff I'm actually gonna wind up using. I'm gonna show you what I believe to be the finest pair of tweezers that you sent here, up against the tweezers that you see me using all the time. And here is a difference in size. I'm just gonna put those under the microscope side by side. So on the left-hand side is the unclean, what you sent here. 
And then on the right hand side is the tweezers that I use all the time. I mean, they're actually a finer point. Those tweezers, these are up to par enough for me to actually be using them. So that is totally cool. And uh, I really appreciate this stuff. Thank you so much. So in comparison, here is the number 11 X-Acto blades that everybody is used to seeing me use on this channel. And then on the left here is the number 11 surgical blade that I have received in the mail. And you can see that the tips on the end, they're actually very similar. Now the surgical blade, it's got, uh, it has more structure to it. It's built to be stronger at the end, the way this, this is set up. However, the X-Acto blade, it's set up, it's not quite as strong at the tip, but it is longer and skinnier. So um, that X-Acto blade, it just, it has a much, much longer slender tip on it. And the surgical blade, it, it's fatter and stronger. So uh, for some things that I do at this workbench, I'm gonna prefer the X-Acto blade. For other things I do at this bench, I'll prefer the surgical blade.